Hello there, everybody. This is the Computer Crusader. And today, we are going to be unboxing this Razer Sinosa Lite budget gaming keyboard. Wow, this box is now... Listen, you guys, I actually bought this uh when it was on... Uh, as a renewed, as a renewed purchase right here, as you can see. Here's the, uh, Amazon Renewed. Right there. Okay. So, yeah, here's the front of the box. I know it's covered up with a lot of stickers and stuff, but here you go. Alright, and this is an RGB keyboard as well. So, pretty cool. Alright, here's the top part of the box right here with a QWERTY keyboard layout that says United States of America version. That's what I'm talking about right there. we got Windows 10 compatible. What's needed? PC with a USB port. So this is just a wired USB keyboard right here. And this can work on Windows or Linux through the use of the op uh, Open Razor project, which we will discuss in a little bit. As you can see, Windows 10 plug and play. It is, uh, since it's RGB, this actually works with the Razer Synapse. Razer Synapse 3. RGB right here. Very cool. What's this back part? Talks about some stuff that we got right here. Razer Sinosa. Razer Chroma. You know, full, fully programmable macro keys. Gaming grade. And on this side, Razer Sinosa. On the back, it pretty much just gives a uh, a cool indication of what it actually is, which is very cool. All right. So you guys can take a look right here. Very nice, very cool. All right. I don't know why this camera is having problems focusing. But anyways, there's that piece of tape right there. So let's go ahead and cut it open. Oh my goodness. Look at the keyboard. As soon as you open it up, right in all its glory. Oh snap. Hold up, homie. Oh lord, look at this. Oh goodness gracious. That is incredible right now. Look at all these keys and shiny plastic it's got covering it up. Oh lord, a nice keyboard smell right here too. I can already feel the keys. Of course, there's a rubber cable right here. And it looks like it is connecting with... I don't know what type of USB that is. Could be USB 2.0 or 3. Well, let's go ahead and take this off of the box right now. Just slides right out of that package. Oh my goodness, right now. Oh snap. Kind of hard to see with the tripod, I know, but forgive me for all this lighting. Real cool. Now, this is stuck in here, so... But of course you have the RGB look. Come on, camera. 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 Are you not going to focus? What's going on? I don't know if you can see it, but there's supposed to be a Razer logo. Yeah, there it is right there. See that Razer? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, these actually... And of course, you get all these macros. You have your caps lock, num lock, scroll lock. This is your macros. And this is something else. I have no idea what that means. Of course, you got your function keys. Now, this is a full size keyboard. You got your arrow keys right here. You got your delete, insert. Then you have your full numpad, number pad over here. Very cool. And of course, you got your full QWERTY layout with the Windows button right here. All right, you turn that around. What do you got? You got the name of the uh, 
device along with serial number which I don't want you to see but we have these uh foldable things right here as well as these uh these uh gripping gripping spaces right as well so yeah we got that that all right now that we got that let's put this aside and let's go over here to the other stuff that comes with it it's got a little uh welcome pad right here a little uh literature pamphlet i don't know what this says i guess it tells you how to register and thank you for choosing i mean i don't okay and then right here it's got your uh oh looks like you got some stickers and apparently this is a uh uh yeah how to use it how to set it up how to you know just basic literature right there i hope you guys can see this i feel like this camera isn't doing you justice right now which is a uh, pretty unfortunate right there now you will need internet to install this software so yeah it tells you right here usb i don't know it just says usb so we're gonna uh, uh figure out what what the actual usb is so you guys will know but uh yeah okay and it looks like that's all for the box so yeah all right guys now we're gonna head over to the computer and see how it works all right everybody so now we're on the uh computer ready to test out this razor sinosa light and i also got a couple of web pages pulled up out here so but before we look at these let's actually test out to see exactly what this keyboard is if it's usb 2.0 or it can work with 3.0. Let's go ahead and test. Okay, so this is a USB 2.0 device. That means it can work with a regular USB port or a 3.0 port. So, very nice, very cool. Alright. But that's not actually where I want the keyboard to go so I'm gonna actually unplug it real quick and put it back in the port I want so uh be right back guys okay everybody now I wish I could show you this the keyboard when you plug it in looks like the keys and the the logo light up uh I guess they're cycling through colors now so that's what their default setting is they just cycle through a bunch of colors but here, let's take a look. I couldn't find the actual, uh, uh, what's it called? The actual, uh, shoot. The actual Razer webpage for this, uh, specific product that they got. Now, they got pages for a couple of other, like, higher-end stuff, but I don't know. That's pretty cringe right there. But anyways... Now this is not the exact product I bought. The exact product I bought was right here. It was a renewed version at twenty twenty five dollars. So I I kind of cheated a little bit. I looked at a review from someone else and they paid forty five dollars for it. So I guess this has been out for a little while. So it's cheaper now. Well, very very good for me because hey, I like cheaper. Alright, well anyways, let's take a look at the keyboard on here. Pretty much like I showed you before, you got all your standard keyboard layout, QWERTY. You got your escape function keys. You have your, looks like your cat, uh, your lock icons there. Your arrow keys. Uh, you also got your numeric keypad over there on the side. So this is a full size keyboard. Pretty much which is very nice. Let's go over here. As you can see, this is a Chroma RGB keyboard, but it is, and this might be a, a, a make or break for you guys. This is actually a only a single zone, which means all your keys can only be one color at, the, at one time. So 
You cannot have one side of your keyboard be red, the other side green. You, 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 you can only have them one color at a time. But you can see they offer plenty of colors. Which says 16.8 million colors. Good night. That is a ton of color. Ah. Which is the exact opposite of this right here. This is the Sinosa V2, which is the slightly higher, more higher end version. This, I'll also recommend this as well. If you have the money, you can buy this. Because this allows multi zone lighting. And uh, as you can see, it is spill resistant. So if you ever have a like tea or coffee or whatever, I don't know what you drink. Juice, sugar, I don't know. Soda. You have a drink over there and you get excited when you're gaming. Oh yeah! Ah, there's the creeper! And a creeper sneaks up behind you and scares you. And what happens? I know what I do. I'll, I'll start flailing around a little bit, maybe. Could accidentally hit the drink over. Oh, guess what? Your laptop is going to be alright if you have this Razer Sinosa light right here. Because it is spill resistant. Now don't just sit there and dunk it in water. That would not be very good. What does this say right here? Nothing. Okay. And of course, the way you configure this is through the Razer Synapse uh, application. Which, you get a pr sneak peek right here. Here's what it looks like. The Windows 10 version. So, uh, yeah. You get to see what your devices are right there. And you could set profiles for whatever you're trying to do. So if you want a game, and you want the lights to be green to match your setup or whatever, then you can do that. But if you're working, and you want a... Uh, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> if you're working on a school assignment, after you watch my videos, of course, then uh, you can create a profile for that and have it a different color, like red or blue or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, and of course you get that right there. Okay, so, alright. And they have a From the Manufacturer page right here, which I guess is their web page. It tells you a little bit more about the product. Uh, they are fully programmable, like I mentioned before. Razer Synapse 3 enabled. Now, I actually checked out the keys. These are technically mechanical keys. But they have a membrane layer underneath them, which prevents them from being switched out if they uh, wear out, the key tops wear out. So it pretty much is like a mechanical keyboard that is quieter and you can't switch the keys out. So I guess that's the, uh, the price you pay for having a cheaper laptop, uh, not a laptop, keyboard. And yeah, it does provide rollover 16.8 uh, million colors. Spill resistant gaming mode, which uh, allows you to t disable a couple of shortcuts. So, I mean, yeah. But, anyways, here's the weight almost two pounds. And, uh, yeah. So, that's that right there. Okay. And, of course, you can get this on Amazon, eBay, wherever. New egg, probably. Uh, yeah. So let's go over here to the Razer Synapse 3. Now this is the software you can use if you're using a Windows device. You use Razer Synapse 3, or I think it might work for Mac too, I'm not sure. But I know it works for Windows. Of course, this is where you, uh, you do all your configurations and stuff right here. So, uh, yeah, of course you got Razer HyperShift, Onboard, Clout. You can uh, save all your profiles in the cloud through your, your Razer account, which you can set up through this app, I believe. And yeah, all the compatible devices, pretty much all their uh, Razer RGB is compatible. They're also working with Philips Hue and Amazon Alexa to provide uh, compatibility services right here. So that's cool, but we're not going to download this just yet. We're going to look at if you're on Linux. What you would have to use, which would be the Open Razor project. Now, this is why I chose Razor because 
I'm eventually going to try switching to a Linux-based di distribution, probably something with Arch or Debian. And this is pretty much the, it's a daemon that runs in the background that uh, will recompile uh, the kernel with the driver that you have. And it's, of course, this is scriptable, written in Python. So if you know some Python code, you can pretty much change how it, uh, change the effects that you can have right here. And now this is a command line interface by default. So, uh, so you would have to be familiar with the command line in order to use this. However, the, uh, this, uh, right here, applications. Under here, it shows the different GUI front ends you can use. The one I recommend would be Polychromatic, which, let's go to the website right here to see what it looks like. Okay. See, now this would be a front end. This makes it look more, as you can see, like a, uh, like the Razor Synapse project I mentioned before. Except this one does not allow, uh, cloud storage right here. Free open source GPL. Yeah. So that would be a front end. You would probably, a good configuration would be this and that. Right there. Now, why do you think I put it up here? Because Razor Sinosa Lite is the, uh, is a compatible keyboard. And of course you have all kinds of other devices that are compatible as well that you can configure. So, very cool, very nice. Alright, anyways, let's uh, exit out of some of this stuff and let's uh, try typing with this. Oh my goodness. All the all the shortcuts work. I just did a control A backspace to delete. Well, let's go ahead and look up YouTube. Quick. Oh, shoot. That is very quick. Very tactile. Very nice. I am a big fan of this keyboard already. Let's try Windows key. Okay, the Windows key works. I know you can't see it right now, but that's because it's on the other screen. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Let's try the uh, Alt tab. Yep, that works as well. I know you can't see it, but yeah. Caps lock. So yeah, the actual, uh, when you do a caps lock or a num lock, uh, any of those locks, it'll show up on the right hand side as a green LED. Very cool. All right, and then the function keys, if you press FN and, uh, FN and one of the function keys, like F9 or F10, F9 will turn it on to a, a different mode, and F10 will turn it on to gaming mode. So yeah, that's real cool, but actually let me go ahead and go back to the, uh, try the control shift T to undo. So I get back to Razor Synapse 3, which is very cool. All right. So now let's walk you guys through the process of downloading the Razor Synapse 3 and setting up a Razor account. So you would just click download now when you go to this web page right here, razor.com slash synapse 3. Now, and you go right here, you would just pick a place to save it. I'll just save it to my downloads right here. Okay, and it, if you're using a Chromium-based browser, it'll just go to your download section. You just wait for it to download. For me, it says the file size would be 6.4 megabytes, which is the installer application. All right, I'll come back when this is finished, guys. All right, guys, so turns out the application has just finished downloading, but this actually popped up in my taskbar before. It's done loading, it'll show this right here. 
it actually detects the uh, the Razer uh, keyboard that you just uh, plugged in, and it will pretty much say what the welcome pamphlet will say as well. So right here, it'll tell you, congratulations, you now hold the competitive advantage. There is no turning back. Lord, that sounds kind of ominous now. I don't know. But it'll pretty much tell you what I told you right here. Chroma Studio, you can change the lights on your keyboard. Razer Synapse. Macros. Let's go to next right here and see what that does. Okay. Also, it, you can actually just install it right through here. Which is uh, very interesting right now. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and install some of these stuff right here. Let's see what it does. Razer Synapse is the actual program. Now it says right here, 432 megabytes is the actual app. Good night. That is pretty insane right there. But it's what allows you to configure your stuff. So we're going to do that. Now let's see what all these optional stuff is right here. So Chroma Connect. The Chroma Connect module is the control center for all Chroma enabled apps and third party hardware devices. Set priorities for your favorite games, okay. Other RGB devices to sync with Razer Chroma. Okay, I mean, I don't know as much about that. I'm assuming that I could uh install that, what the heck, okay. Install that later. Oh Lord, Alexa, no, I'm not in need of Alexa because that's gonna be a video I do later on the channel. Those IoT devices are not very secure and will and are very privacy invasive, so I will not recommend this right here. But yeah, Chroma Studio, this will allow you to change lighting effects for all your devices, so this I will keep on here. Chroma Visualizer syncs all your Chroma enabled devices and your smart lights. So this would be if you have any smart lights like the Philips Hue and other stuff right here. Nano leaf right here. And of course, this is for macros. You can bring macros to your game. String of button presses. So I'm actually going to add that real quick since that's not very, uh, not very large right here. Only 752 kilobyte. So yeah, nano leaf. I do not, I can collapse that right here. And it looks like Razor Cortex. This is uh, optimizing your system's fold potential to finding the guest the best game prices. Well, I mean, I guess I'll go ahead and install this for you guys too. But, yeah, so that would bring my total to 638 megabytes. Now, you can change the install location right here, but I'm going to leave it right here for right now. So, all right, when you're finished, uh, Choosing what you want to install, you would just click install right here. Now, we'll just wait for it. As you can see, this gives you a, uh, a little slideshow type of thing that explains the functionalities you got right here. The walkthrough, I guess, or the do later. And it'll show all the devices that are installing first, downloading, so it'll give you the remaining time down here and the ability to cancel if you want to cancel. But yeah, I guess we'll just, uh, I'll just pause this for you guys and come back when it's finished. 2,000 years late. All right, everybody, it looks like the Razer Synapse is almost finished installing. And the Razer Cortex is almost finished downloading. So, just figured I'd come back and tell you guys. But, looks like we'll have to wait a little bit longer until Razer Cortex downloads. So, I'll cut out that part of the video as well. Stay tuned. Six and a half hours late. Okay guys, it looks like the uh, Razer Synapse has finished installing. And the Razer Cortex is almost two-thirds of the way done. And going rather quickly, so. Alright. Just wait a little bit longer and we should be able to get this going. Alright. It looks like the Razer Cortex is now finished installing. 
So right here, it gives us the option to either launch both of them or launch almost all. So let's go ahead and launch uh, Razor Synapse real quick for, uh, for right now. And we'll do Razor Cortex later. So yeah, let's get started right here. Let's see if it'll pull up. Alright guys, so I got Razor Synapse pulled up right here. And uh... So this is where you will have to log in with your Razor account or sign up. Since I don't have one, I'm gonna go ahead and uh... Sign up for one. So, I'll be right back guys. Alright you guys, so once you go ahead and sign up, you would have to accept the terms and conditions. Well, yeah, this is when you would sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and accept. Let's let it load. Okay, now I'm going to have to verify my email. Be right back. Alright guys, so real quick, I just went ahead and signed up for my account. Okay, what? Hold on. Alright guys, so this is what you would see when the, uh, you go through and actually get into the Razor Synapse interface right here. So, uh, as you can see, your, the list of devices, all Razor devices that are connected to your device will show up here. For me, it's just the Razor Sinosa Lite. Okay, and you get that right there. Now, of course, we have modules like Chroma Studio, Macro, which we optionally installed. A, a little while ago. Then of course we have stuff like here to access the Razer Store, Razer Gold and Silver, compatible devices for Razer Synapse, registering the product and accessing support from here. So right here is where you can manage all your devices as well. Okay, and right here it's given a, uh, a thing that says with Razer Hypershift, you can assign an additional function to the same button or key without in interfering with its default input, which is very impressive. I like that. Let's let's click on that. Hyper shift. All right, that's cool. We're gonna go back to standard right now <coughs> and see right here is where you can configure gaming mode. You can turn it on or off, and while it's on, you can. Disable the Windows key from popping up accident accidentally while you're gaming. Sorry about that. You can disable Alt Tab so you don't accidentally close out of a window and switch windows like Alt F4. Okay, and right here is where you can add different profiles for whatever you want. And right here, you would go over here to, uh, actually, let's see this menu right here. Okay, so this is what basically summarizes the keyboard layout. When you're in standard and a hyper shift mode. So, yeah. That's pretty cool right there. Alright, now we can go right over here to custom it, which is, I'm assuming is what we're on right now, which is fine. But okay, we got lighting right here. And again, I might do another video on this when I learn more about it and play around, but this is just a quick. Showing you guys what's going on with it. This video is already getting kind of long, so. Alright. It says right here, advanced effects are applied across multiple Razer Chroma enabled devices. Globally. And are not saved to device profile. So those are advanced stuff right now. Which would only be available through Chroma Studio. Very nice, very cool. Okay. And of course we have the brightness of the lights right here. You can change, turned off. When display is turned off, switch off lighting and all kinds of stuff. So here we go. Okay. And of course we got our profiles right here and you can add a profile for whatever game you're doing. So like I can, if I'm using a brave browser, let's see if I, if brave, if brave browser counts as a game, uh, Okay, I, I do not think it does. 
Even though it's showing my Steam stuff right here. So no. Okay, well either way, it, it'll still be fine. I could probably set up a macro for that. Now here's uh, the link to Chroma Studio. Which allows you to customize lighting effects that are available. For uh, your Razer Chroma enabled devices. Right here, it's pretty much what walking me through it. So now let's go to macro right here so we can configure macros. Okay, now this will record macros right here. So what you would do is I guess you would record a certain uh, keystroke or shortcut you, and it can be set to whatever you want. I'm assuming. So, uh, yeah, this is real cool. I really like this uh, stuff right here. But let's go back to the main page. And yeah. Of course, you got my Razer account right up there. Uh, I guess app settings or whatever. Yeah. So the, I mean that's pretty cool right there. And of course you get the uh, whatever you installed, you would get master guides which you can look at right here. So I mean that's pretty cool. The manual for the Razer Sinosa. All right, guys. That's just a video I wanted to unbox and review the Razer Sinosa Lite. So far, this keyboard has been exceptional, and I've only been using it for, like, a few minutes or so. So, I mean, I'm already falling in love. Get it on Amazon, 25 bucks now, renewed. Mine came in great condition and works great. So, I can't guarantee that, but, yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Leave a comment, share your thoughts. Uh. Also, check out my podcast episode, The Crusader at the Round Table. We air every Thursday at 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern Daylight Time every week. So, on app, uh, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. We'll be sure to look out for that. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.